So, like all great love stories, this one begins in a castle in Europe in 2005. My then girlfriend, now wife Katie, who's in the audience here, we were backpacking through the beautiful countries and cities of Europe, through Prague, through Budapest, France, Scotland, and we came to fall in love with the castles. They are absolutely majestic when you go to visit them. And one of my favorite activities was exploring the passageways and the catacombs and just being there, being present, and feeling the weight of the history in the rocks and the stones of these castles. And so I became obsessed with this idea of how can I share this experience with my friends and family? This is so cool. I want to be able to teleport everyone I know into these castles so that they can have the same feeling that, that we are right now. And we got back from the trip, and I had no clue how I would ever accomplish this. So I went about my day job, which is a computer engineer, and you know, I did this really cool project where a cattle rancher called me up. This was a few years later at this point, and said, hey, I'd like to weigh some cows. Can you help me? And I said, I sure can. <laughs> and so I spent a year um, hiking through cow fields, you know, knee deep in cow, cow patties. <laughs> and we had the idea to take 3D images of the cows so that we can analyze the images. And then from the images, we would know how big the cow was. This is a great idea, except it turned out taking 3D images was really hard. And that's why a few years later, when a toy came out called the Microsoft Xbox Connect, it made the little light bulb over my head go off. And I was like, wow, this is the missing piece. This device senses the world in 3D, which was the exact same problem I had when I was trying to weigh the cows. And it turns out it wasn't just you know, me that had this revelation. The entire hacker community, engineering community, research community had the same realization that this Microsoft Connect is not just a toy, it's a very powerful 3D sensing device. And so that's when I realized this was the secret to making my castle dream a reality. So I did the only sane thing an engineer would do. I called up the four smartest people I know, told everyone, hey, quit your jobs <laughs> because I got an idea. <laughs> and so I sent out, the, sent out the parakeet signal and we formed Team Paracosm. And what we did is we spent a few years developing software that takes the video from these Kinect cameras and transforms it into a perfect 3D virtual reality model of real places. In this case, this is our office right here in Florida. Well, we're in Boston right now, but in Florida. <laughs> and then mission accomplished, right? I can now, using this new technology, create virtual worlds, which wasn't that my dream the whole time, but turns out I was wrong because virtual models in and of themselves are actually pretty boring. They're dead spaces. What was exciting about the castle was when I would imagine in my head what was life like when people were living inside of it. And that's when we had our next big idea, which is a 3D virtual reality model contains all the information of the scene. It fits on top of our physical reality, and it now allows us to overlay virtual objects with shadows and physics and bouncing everywhere onto the real world. We can put virtual characters now into the real world thanks to these 3D models. And this was the big aha moment. So now we've now taken these virtual reality models and taken them from a dead space into this Rosetta Stone that lets us bring the virtual world right alongside us into the physical world. But we still have one more problem is, I still haven't teleported anyone to the castle. So now, what we then realized is, why stop at just bringing 
virtual objects into the physical world, I can teleport the entire castle right to our office in Florida. And now, not just that, the little villagers can now come from their virtual world back into our world. <laughs> so there is literally no more boundary between physical and virtual reality. And this is what I mean when I say transforming reality. New technology has enabled us to completely break down this barrier of how we think, interact about the world around us. We're no longer limited to just apps on our phone. We're no longer limited to you know, the constraints of physical world. The whole world has become our holodeck. And that's my message today, is the power to transform reality is now in all of our pockets. Thank you.